Hi everyone, my name is Sesredu and I am really welcoming back to my channel. Well, we are back again with our reaction videos and as a way of acknowledging the source of this particular video, it is from Charlie Kirk and it is titled as Prove Me Wrong, College is a Scam. Bro, why is everybody on college, bro? <laughs> Alright, let me not talk much. Please sit back, relax and let's enjoy this beautiful piece. Let's go! I saw some people with the shirt that says, school, college is a scam. It's, a, it's quite the, the statement, and could you elaborate a little bit more on that? Do you believe college is, is a scam? Yeah, uh, half this audience, uh, if you guys get a job, will end up getting a job that doesn't require a college degree. Okay. Then, so they, we get a job that requires a college degree. So, yeah, so any business that has a 50% rate of a customer being scammed will be shut down by the federal government for disenfranchising their customers. You went to Chili's, like, hey, 50% chance that our fries are going to give you food poisoning. So if you look at college more than just getting a job, but more as a educating the population, would you say that's a scam? Well, it depends on what you think college is and what it's become. Secondly, 41% of people that enter college don't graduate. The dropout rate's insanely high. That's true. Third, I mean, what exactly is being taught here? It's a great question. I mean, are you learning about the beauty of Western civilization and reading the Federalist Papers of Hamilton and Madison and Jay? And do you get a positive view of America or do you spend time on postmodernism of Michel Foucault and Jacques Derrida and Gene Stefanik and Derek Bell? I'd uh, say more networking. Oh, networking. Yeah. Okay, so... Wait, 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 before we go dive deep into it, what's your definition of a scam? Uh, where a, a serious proportion of your customers are not given the value proposition that they pay for. <laughs> Education, <laughs> right? Which they're not getting. Yeah. You're saying, so therefore... And well, that's the question. You come here to get right. educated, you guys are going from the wrong thing. This is just a glorified credentialing exercise. Yeah, and that's what you're paying for, but therefore it's oh, not... Oh, okay, so, uh, so we're not, it's not education. You're just paying for a piece of paper so you can get a job. And education, I mean... Oh, is it education? So are, are you, It is education, sorry. But education, I'll, I'll, I'll what, does that even, what does that mean to you? Um, resources, learning how to work, learning how um, to... Um, move around a professional workforce. You um, need to go to that, college to learn that? Yes, yes, I'd say I, I so. I think you're being, you're being scammed, man. I don't, Take it from someone who didn't go to college, you don't need any of that stuff. Yeah, you would, need, you, would you say a doctor would need a college degree? Well, of course, but that, the vast majority of kids here aren't studied to go to, to become a doctor. How many engineers are in here? Yeah, okay, so how many people that are studying so, social or liberal sciences? Social sciences. Yeah, fair amount. Okay, okay. it's a personal choice. Therefore, the vast majority of kids that go to college are social sciences, psychology, communications. Mm -hmm. About only 18 to 20 percent are studying engineering. And you say they shouldn't go to college. Well, it all depends. Again, it depends on what you're studying, exactly. why you're there. But you don't. Uh, this idea that engineering, you need a four-year degree. You could also just learn to code in six months and work for Salesforce and earn 180,000 dollars a year. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's yes, it is true. They, 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 coding, coding's hard, Charlie. You have to go to college to learn to code. Okay, that's my point. I'm not saying it's easy, you just need to go to college. Secondly, what does a manager of a Walmart, a Walmart Supercenter make a year? Anybody know? It's $400,000 a year. $400,000? Yeah, they don't require, yeah, you guys should just go become a manager of a Walmart, doesn't require a college degree. What does the average plumber make in Scottsdale, Arizona? $115,000 a year. What does the average HVAC technician make in Henderson, Nevada? $75,000 a year. But those don't require college degrees. There are 11 million job openings in this country right now that don't require college degrees. We are oversupplying college. But yeah, you're here taking advantage of college and college students. Am I taking advantage? Is that what I'm doing? You're taking advantage of the space, of taking advantage of the students, not in a way of like, yeah, intellectually I mean, taking advantage. It, it's, it's, um, like, it's like going to a place to tell people you're being scammed. If you call that taking advantage, then so be it. Yeah, I, I mean, you're taking advantage as you're taking my time, you're taking everyone's time, well, and you're you're, and you're, you're you're volunteering your time it, too. It, it, I, I didn't wait, force uh, you. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah, we're we're you're taking okay. our time. We're, we're, we're investing enough. our I, time. I, I do this also in other places than campuses too. So. Yeah, no, but but then you're here, and then you're saying college is a scam. It is. Uh, Half I, of you guys I, I, will end up getting a job where your entire college debt burden means nothing. You yeah. will get a job that does not require a college degree at all. You're four years wasted. You shouldn't have come here in the first place. Half. Yeah, well. I disagree with him and All right, well, that's fair. I hope cool. you I hope it's worth Have it. A wonderful I hope. Day. All right, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this has been another beautiful conversation from Charlie Kirk and a college student. Charlie keeps saying college is a scam and I believe 
a whole lot of people either disagree or agree with this gentleman bro let me have your thought on the above subject it's Charlie just came now one thing I really agree with Charlie in this particular video has got to do with the fact that we are we are pushing a lot of people into the educational system or into college bro some of them do not even need to be there if i'm being honest with you some of them do not need to be there you know education is gradually becoming part and parcel of our culture but to understand that it is now a norm for everybody to go through the schooling system bro sometimes people don't need it you so, so some people don't need it you know you you'll be in a classroom with an individual and you know very well that no dude is just an extraordinary footballer i'm actually using my part of the world as an example dude is just an extraordinary footballer and such a person needs to be in a football academy or something but you know one thing we all have to go through the normal schooling system bro we are wasting that person's precious time well in my part of the world it is like you, you attend a junior high school you went to you got you go to senior high school before you were before you further at the university level so just imagine somebody who is born a pro somebody who is born or somebody or a naturally gifted footballer going through all this schooling system before he start chasing his dream as a footballer you understand before he start chasing his dream as a footballer meanwhile somebody in a foreign land right from infancy the person was pushed into an academy school the person was pushed into a football academy school so how can you compare yourself to such a person even the person in my part of the world who is a gifted footballer by the time he even go through the university and start chasing his football career he would have been caught up with age so i'm not surprised that normally you will hear a lot of stories about african footballers reducing their age bro the system the system and for me that is what i would describe as the scamming aspect of college at the scamming aspect of college because that person's precious time has been robbed and he has been prevented from achieving his dreams or goals you understand that is the only thing that that is one thing i can describe as a that is one thing i can describe as a scam regarding college and another thing i was and from the other hand i will also say college is not a scam bro a doctor somebody learning to be a doctor bro you need to pass through that system you need to humble yourself and pass through that system to be educated you understand that is why you probably start getting your basics before you move to a medical school or something so from that perspective college is not a scam yep engineers you gotta be in school i saw somebody citing an example by using um coding and other stuff and charlie made it very obvious that you do not necessarily need a college education to start coding yeah, clearly that's true. I can sit in my home. I can sit in my room and use about four to five months to learn a lot of stuff about coding. That's true. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me have your thoughts on the above subject. Is college a scam or not? There is a school of thought which says college is a scam. Another school of thought also says college is not a scam. I ended up citing example from two angles, bro. Let me know where you stand. Let me know where you stand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I believe I've said a lot about this particular piece. Once again, my name is Esredo, and I'm excited we've gotten the opportunity to react to this particular piece. I love you more than you do love me, and I appreciate you making time off your busy schedule to join me on the content I do create. If you love what I do, and you genuinely want to be part of this beautiful family, do what subscribe to the channel, like this video, and keep your comments coming. Peace.